consider a core which is not magnetized and this is placed inside a coil when no current is passing through the coil there will not be any magnetism but when we pass current through the coil magnetic field is produced it magnetizes iron bar that magnetization force h is proportional to the current we are passing through the coil next we will plot the relation between magnetizing force h and flux density b magnetizing force h in x axis and flux density b in the y axis when we are passing current through the coil a magnetizing force will be developed and when the magnetizing force is increasing the flux density also increases along this curve oa when magnetizing force h is increased further we will think this flux density also will be increasing it is not like that at the point a saturation occurs the value of this flux density remains the same next we will see what happens when this magnetizing force is reduced that is going in this backward direction when this magnetizing force is reduced that is in the negative direction we may think that the flux density also come along the same curve that is from a to o but it is not like that it takes a different path the path a c that means even if we have reduced the magnetizing force h some magnetism remains in the core the amount of flux density that remains in the core even after removing this magnetizing force is called residual magnetism or remnants of the material that is this much or see so we have reduced the magnetizing force to zero but even then some magnetism is remaining inside this thing in order to demagnetize the core by removing this much residual magnetism the magnetizing force is reversed further by reversing the direction of current in the coil that is this current direction will be reversed now the curve follows the path cd at d the core becomes completely demagnetized so the magnetizing force required to remove the residual magnetism from the material is called a coercive force or coercivity of the material that is this much magnetizing force we have to apply in the negative direction direction to remove that residual magnetism the coercive force or coercivity of the material is represented by od on the curve when this magnetizing force is reduced to further in the negative direction the curve follows the path de and at e it is saturated in the opposite direction if the magnetizing force is reversed to its positive direction the curve follows path efga